Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be doing our November releases. So normally I would film at my bookshelf but I thought I would try like a different settings. I don't know if I kind of like this or I kind of like my bookshelf. I think I might like my bookshelf one but I just want to try it out. And I got my candle here so I don't want to go anywhere without it because you always want to keep an eye on your candle you don't know what could happen. So. Most of these books are actually out, even though, well actually, maybe two or three books are out today, I believe. Uh, so it's November 5th. It's November 5th, so I believe there are most of books that have been come out the past few days of November. So, yeah, let's see what they have. So my first book is The Teller of Small Fortunes by Julie Leong. Taylor is an immigrant fortune teller traveling between villages with just a trusty mole for company. She only tells small fortunes when the Ewa Hill next week, which boy the barmaid will kiss, when the cow will calve, and she knows from bad experience that big fortunes come with big consequences. Even if it's a lonely life, it's better than the one she left behind, but a small fortune unexpectedly becomes something more when a semi reformed thief and ex missionary recreate. Re we create her into the desperate search for a lost child, soon they are joined by a maker, with the need for an adventure, and of course, a slightly magical cat. I see what they did there, <laughs> what they need for an adventure. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> but this sounds really cute. I don't really like to read cozy fantasy mystery books, but this one seems really cute. So, and the cover looks really nice. But yeah, this comes on November 5th, which is today. My next book is The Estate by Sarah Just. Not all art is safe. Camille LeRae has spent her career as an art historian surrounding herself with binaries, learning how to appeal to, to the rich and selling art for millions. But she harbors a secret that can ruin her life she has so meticulously. She has the magic ability to enter the world of the, of the art she surrounds herself with. And she can take others with her. But tapping into history comes at a great risk. And someone has been watching, someone who knows about her magic and her mistakes. Isn't there a saying, if you go back to the past, you will erase your future self? I'm just saying, but this also sounds really cool. It comes out on November 19. My next book is The Last Hour Between Worlds by Melissa Caruso. Kimbrell Thorne is spending three hours away from a newborn and she's determined to enjoy herself at this party no matter what. But when the guests are dropping down, Kim has no choice but to get to work. She is a hound after all and she can help picking up the scent of trouble. She's not the only one. Her professional and personal nemesis, notorious burglar Rinka Nonsuch, is on the prowl. The qu they quickly identify what's causing the mysterious grandfather clock that sends them down an echo every time it chimes. In each strange new layer of reality, time resets and a sinister figure appears to perform a blood-soaked ritual. As Ken and Rika fall into increasing, increasingly macabre legends of the city, they will need to rely on the wits and each other to unravel the secret of the clock and save their home. It comes out on November 19. My next one is Pike Island by Tony Wood. What happens if the cabin stays at the cabin, right? Andrew Harris and Harry Leonard is destined for politics. Getting his start on the Rochester City Council, he quickly rose to become the youngest representative in Congress. Now the up and coming from Minnesota is on the brink of something big. If all goes well, he will be in perfect position to aim for the presidency. Then the postcard arrives, blank except for the name on the Andy and Leonard. Harry hasn't used that name since high school. Krista Walsh, Harry's chief of staff, recognizes his old moniker, and when he dodges questions about it, she wonders what he's trying to hide. She soon discovers the link pictured on the postcard holds secrets too. Krista's investigation into Harry's past uncovers the truth of what happened one fateful teenage summer. But as the stunning details come to light, how far will Krista go to keep Harry's career and her own headed to the top? And it comes out on November 1st, so it already came out. So I really love this cover. It's so creepy and eerie. I just love the red surrounding it. And in this I'm the dog that answers when you call. This is a sequel to I Feed Her to the Beast by Jameson Shea. Monsters and Mortals Rejoice. Edgeron is back. <laughs> 
Dalawi has tried to close the lid on her ballet shoes and the feelings she once held for that since the Palace Garnier incident two months ago. Lomi is spinning out. Between partying, drinking, and avoiding anything and well everyone, she has no time to be anything but a monster. But when Lomi stumbles across a mysterious dead body during one of her nights out, she is forced to notice the cracks stretching beyond herself. Below the streets of Paris, Elysium is dying, and the echelon in and leaves in flames and spilling into the streets like a blight. Lomi isn't the only of Elysium's beasts right to rise from the mirrors of the palace Garnier, and someone is immobilizing an army of monsters who have plans greater than Lomi and Dor and Ketura, Ketura to ever have guessed. While Lomi is whirling between her wards and Archeron's ever demanding appetite, she and her circle of monsters are left to wreck her in a not so simple how do you save yourself from oblivion? Ha! Ah, you don't. I'm just kidding. It comes out on November 12th. My next book is The Girl in the Midnight Maze by Kathy Hayward. All her mother left her was a clue to a family secret, but isn't a mystery best left unsolved? For decades, Emma Bowen has hoped she and her mother Margaret might find her way back into each other's lives. Even as a child, her strongest connection to her mother was a painting Margaret created before Emma was born, of a little girl lost in a maze. So when Margaret just dies, gifting the painting to a total stranger, Emma is consumed by grief for her mother, the little girl, and the relationship they never had. Claiming at her mother's seaside flat, Emma is faced with a mountain of possessions and paperwork from a life she knows so little about. When she discovers something that throws them over everything she has ever been told about Margaret's past, Emma must decide whether to pull out at the thread of secrets and lies, whether it would help her through her grief or reveal a loss that runs deeper than she ever imagined. It came out on November 1st. My next one is Grim Curiosities by Sherry Lynn Fisher. In Victorian England, a young woman inherits her father's curiosity shop and all its ghastly secrets. In 1851, in Old York, Lizzie Grimm struggles to save her late fun, charmingly creepy yet flattering antique shop, Grimm Curiosities. Then, during a particularly snowy December in this most haunted city in England, thanks to curiosity, Lizzie meets Anthony Carlos, who assists the suffer from the same perplexing affliction as Lizzie's mother. Both stricken silent and unresponsive after speaking with ghosts, working closely together to fathom what power has transformed her loved ones, and why Lizzie and Anthony discovered important her father treasured a set of rare books and ancient folk tales, enchantments, and yuletide myths. Books that persistent collectors often keen to purchase. Books Lizzie can't bear to sell. Every bewitching passage and illustration opens a door right to something ancient and dangerously inviting. Keys to a mystery Lizzie and Anthony are compelled to solve. Even if doing so means unleashing one of his bright holiday's darkest myths. It, ca it came out on November 5th. So my next book is Snow and Drown by Jennifer D. Lai. There's a saying in Fall Island, if you're not careful, the snow will get you. Gracie Hutchinson has lived on Fall Island her whole life and knows there's some truth to those words. Fall snowstorms have some spooky way of claiming people, making them disappear without a chase or driving them mad. Now with the hundred years storm approaching, most of Fall's residents have fled to the mainland. But not Gracie. Left behind her physician father, she embraces her landfall. Grace is not the only one left behind. Her classmate Joseph Westcott, descendant of the legendary pioneer who found her Fall Island, has stayed too. After a dance encounter, the two after a chance encounter, the two stumble across something more unsettling than the snow, a ritually mutilated corpse. By night, as the snow begins to fall, it becomes clear that whoever or whatever murdered the man they found has their sights set on Gracie. Seeking refuge in Westcott Manor, Gracie feels safe, surrounded by dozens of local hunkered down in a huge house, but as the storm assaults the island, Gracie discovers secrets that have been kept since Fall was settled. If she cannot cover a hidden history and terrified children about Fall Island before the storm's edge, she will be the next to disappear into the snow. It came out on November 5th. So, I'm really excited about this book. Um, I need to read a sequel and this is a Queen of Ice vs. A Trial Sorcerer number 5 by Alice Culver. So, this is like the conclusion to the Trials of Sorcerer. And Pirate does not ask, they take. Don't we know that? 
<laughs> Captain Blackbeard, I'm looking at you. <laughs> if you know, you know. The five kingdoms at the brink of war, an empire ready to capitalize on the chaos, a pirate queen terrorizing the seas, and one young woman with a score to settle. Ava is, Ava is done playing by the rules, done limiting her magic and her heart, done doing what she's told by people in power. She's going to show the world exactly what they were right when they called her dangerous. Ooh. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, that's it? Aww. <laughs> Okay, so it comes out on November 21st, but they are saying the full synopsis, cover reveal, and paperback, hardcover, audiobook pre-orders have to come at the end of 2024. Man. Alright, <laughs> let's go to the next one. So those are all the books that are coming out on November. Let me know what you're interested in the books. And please like, comment, and subscribe to let me know for an avatar post, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!